Heat Hog came out with three brand new heaters this year developed right here in Minnesota. They've got the 18,000 BTU unit, the 9,000 BTU unit, and the 4,000 BTU piglet unit. Today I'm going to give you an overview of all three heaters, including some of the improved and innovative features to help you make a decision on which one's right for you. I will link everything down below in the description, so if you're looking to pick anything up, it's just the simple click of a button. Let's jump in. So starting with quick overview specs, we've got the 18,000 BTU unit here. This has a low setting of 4,500 BTU, a medium setting of 9,000 BTU, and a high setting of 18,000 BTU. We've got a 9,000 BTU unit that has a 4,500 low setting and a 9,000 BTU high setting, and we've got the 4,000 BTU piglet heater that has just the one setting. In terms of fuel consumption, both of these guys on the low setting consume about 0.21 pounds of propane per hour operating on the medium setting of the 18,000 BTU unit and the high setting of the 9,000 BTU unit. They both use 0.42 pounds of propane per hour on average, and then this uses 0.84 pounds of propane per hour on the high setting, which is that 18,000 BTU setting. This 4,000 BTU piglet unit uses about 0.19 pounds of propane per hour. In terms of average run times, we've got four hours and 45 minutes on the low setting for both of these. We've got about two hours and 25 minutes on the high setting for the 9,000 BTU unit, which is the medium setting on this guy for one pound of propane. And then on the high setting, we've got an hour and five minutes average runtime off of this 18,000 BTU unit. And on this guy, we've got 4,000 BTUs giving us about five hours and 20 minutes of calculated runtime. Both of these units can be hooked up to a 20 pound propane tank through a hose. You can use the same hoses that you use for your other heaters. You can pick them up from Heat Hog directly or online. And then this guy right here is intended for a one pound propane cylinder to sit on the top. One of the key features about these heaters that I absolutely love is that they're lighter than the competition. This big 18,000 BTU unit is only 13.75 pounds. This 9,000 BTU unit comes in at 9.7 pounds. And the 4,000 BTU unit comes in at only five pounds. These are the weights before you add a propane tank in. In terms of dimensions of these units here, we've got this guy right here at 14 and a quarter inches wide, 11 and a half inches deep, and total height with the handle down is 14 inches tall. This 9,000 BTU unit is nine and a quarter inches wide, 10.85 inches deep and a total height of 14 inches. So you got the same height with the handle down as the big one. In terms of the piglet heater, we've got just the top part, not the propane tank itself, because they don't include that in the dimensions, but it's eight inches by eight inches by 10 inches tall, just for this top portion as well. A few of the standard features with these is they are all indoor, outdoor safe here in the US, in Canada, because of the legality reasons, they are only outdoor rated heaters, but here in the US, they're indoor, outdoor safe. Uh, make sure if you're using them indoors that you're using them in a ventilated space such as this garage. I've got a big door open in the front. This is a safe place to use these as well as out ice fishing, hunting, camping, those types of activities. They all do have a safety tip over switch so that way if it falls over on you, it's gonna go ahead and shut itself off. And they also have an oxygen depletion sensor. So if the oxygen level in the room gets too low, it will automatically cut off that gas in that igniter. And all three of them do have a one year manufacturer warranty. Now for the fun part, the innovative features of these guys that set them apart from the competition and a full walk around of each of them. Number one, they have, if you can tell here, this guy, the 18,000 BTU unit and the 9,000 BTU unit, both have a tilting feature where they can be tilted back and you're gonna be able to uh, angle the heat so that it goes up and out at an angle. This is really critical for, especially like me, if you're out ice fishing, if you have the heater like this, like most of the other heaters out there today, you end up heating your toes and you end up heating the ice up and you turn into a pool of water. What's great about this is if you tilt it up, it directs that heat uh, further out at an angle and up. So that way you get a little bit more dispersion of the heat and it's not just heating your toes or the ice and creating a pool of water. That's a really cool feature. That's in both the 18,000 and the 9,000 BTU units. And it does have tilting clicks in it. So that way you can tilt it up or you can go halfway in between. Another really cool feature is the curved plaques. So those white plaques that you see on the front, unlike other brands, they're not just flat. 
They have a curve to them, which allows you to get 33% wider coverage area of the heating because it goes out at an angle. And that's all three of the heaters. Even the Piglet has that curved feature. So now I'm gonna give you a walk around of each of the heaters and I'm gonna show you a couple other really cool things as we're doing it. So starting with the front on this 18,000 BTU unit, you've of course got the grade on the front. You can tell it's a little beat up. I have been using this heater and this heater, the 18,000, 9,000 BTU units since last ice season. So I have a little bit of an understanding on how they work and that I would actually recommend these heaters to somebody that's looking for one. They're really cool and they're great to use. I just got this 4,000 BTU unit, so I have not had a chance to use it a ton yet. I've only used it twice and it's worked great for both of those times. On the front of this, you've got the safety grate. The safety grade on this is heavier duty and it's not as flimsy and gonna bend as some of the other competition that's out there. That is on the 18,000 BTU unit, the 9,000 BTU unit, and you have a little bit lighter duty one on the 4,000 BTU unit. On the top of the 18,000 BTU unit, what you can see here is you have your control knob. So you have your off, you have your ignite setting, or where you can bleed the lines if you have a 20-pound propane tank hooked up to it. You have your low, your medium, and your high. You also have an electric ignition. So this screws off, I'm not gonna do it right now, but this screws off and you put a AAA battery in there. And it, I don't know if you can hear this. You have electric ignition, which I absolutely love. One of my favorite things about this heater right here. If we turn the heater, both the left and the right hand sides are the same. So it's just your flat uh, side on it with a little bit of decorative plastic look to it. And then you can see how it angles on that hinge right there, which works out pretty good. You've got a super robust and beefy handle. The thing that I like about this handle versus some of the competition is that it does fold down. It gets out of the way of the heat that's rising up and it allows you to have a little bit more clearance uh, above the heater when you're using it or when you're storing it away, which is really nice. So on the back of the heater is where some of the other really cool innovative things come in. So you can tell right here on the back, you've got the two screw holes here so that this could be mounted for storage or for use in like a shed or something like that. Or you can hang it on the wall in your garage for storage if you want. You have those screw holes on the back. The way that you take the back panel off on this is you push in these two tabs and you pull it off. There is a little band here that makes it so that you don't lose this back panel and you just flap it down so that it stays attached and out of your way. In the back here, what you can see is you can actually see all of the components. This is designed in a way to make it easier for cleaning and if you end up needing to replace parts years and years down the road, it's easier to maintain. I really like that about this. I've already cleaned this out once because I've been moving and it got a little dirty. I cleaned it out and it still works wonderful. The other thing that you're gonna notice is you do still have a quick connect here. Some of the other heaters that are out there don't have these, some of them do. This uses the same quick connect fitting, so if you already have a hose, it will go ahead and work with this. Otherwise, Heat Hog themselves have them available online. But you've got a quick connect fitting, and then you've got a swivel, which I absolutely love. Some of the competition doesn't have the swiveling regulator, but you have a swiveling regulator to hook up a one pound propane cylinder. In fact, I have one. So you've got these one pound propane cylinders. So this you could screw in and you can tilt it down. One of the cool things about this is you've got these little magnets that are in here. These magnets work in a way that it will hold the one pound propane tank down. It's not a super strong magnet, but it works really good just to hold the propane tank down in a vertical, uh, vertical position, so that way it's not wobbling around. The other really cool feature about this is it's got the tank heating dock. So what that means is while you have one propane tank in here, you can have another one that grips right onto the side here that stays in place. What's great about this is that since it's enclosed in the back here and it's off of the ice and out of the cold and it's close to the heater, what it's gonna do is allow the propane to stay relatively warm. So that way when you go to swap it out with the other one that's in here, you can just swap them back and forth. You're gonna get more runtime out of that one pound propane tank since it's not super cold. Because as we know, propane, when at a colder temperature, doesn't burn quite as efficiently. And to wrap up this unit, on the bottom of the unit, you do have the rubber feet, which work out really great. 
Now onto the 9,000 BTU unit. So you've got that same heavy duty grate that I had talked about. On the top of the unit, what you've got is your control knob. So this is uh, an off setting. You've got your ignite setting. This doesn't have the electronic ignition on it. It has your piezo igniter built into it where you hold it down and you click, click, just like your other heaters that you've used previously. And then you've got your low setting and your high setting. That's it for the top. You've got your heavy duty handle that folds out of the way. I really like the feel of this handle. The sides of the unit are the same as the 18 thousand BTU unit where you can see it tilts back, it tilts forward, and that's it. There's nothing else on the sides of the unit. On the back of the unit, it's just like the 18,000 BTU unit. You've got your screw holes here so you can hang the heater up, which I absolutely love. And you've got your back panel that you can take off just with the two push tabs. Inside of it, you've still got your swivel regulator so that way you can put your propane tank in and you can hear it positively click down into that magnet hear that? That's awesome. And then you, you've got access to all of the components as well for easy cleaning and maintaining down the road. Just like on the 18,000 BTU unit, the 9,000 BTU unit also has the dock to keep your propane tank warm. And then on the bottom of the unit, you've got your rubber feet as well. Now onto the 4,000 BTU piglet unit. I love this thing. It actually puts out a lot of really good heat too. So this is a 4,000 BTU unit as we've talked about. Uh, on the front here, you've got your grate. You've got your curved heating ceramic pad on there. And then it goes right on the top of a one pound green propane tank. So you can use the refillables. You can use the, the one pound green ones that you buy at the store. They both work. And it comes with a really nice base. So this base right here is uh, heavy duty plastic, right? What's really nice about it is it will fit both of those propane types that I said, both the refillable and the regular store-bought ones right inside of it. And then you also have some screw holes in here. The screw holes are for if you're gonna be mounting this onto something that you're moving around, if you're gonna mount it onto the back of an ATV, you wanna mount it on your sled, you can actually mount this in that way, when you get someplace, you can go ahead and just set it in there. Or if you're like me, you'll just bring it with You'll set it down wherever you want to be for more stability since you have that wider base. Throw your one pound propane tank in there and then go ahead and throw the head unit on top. The head unit, as you can tell, just screws right in. Uh, on the left hand side of the unit, you've got your on button. On the top of the unit, you've got an off button. So what's great is there's no dials. It's just 4,000 BTUs. You can turn it on and you can turn it off. On the right hand side of it, you've got nothing there and you've got another one of those super heavy duty handles on top. This is a really great unit for if you're sitting outside in the cooler weather and you just wanna warm up your hands or you want something really compact and portable, easy to use, this is a really nice heater. I'm gonna be using it a lot this winter. Hopefully this video helped you out and you found out which one of these heat hug units is gonna be the right one for you. You can find them on heathug.com. They're also available in stock on Amazon. I have links down below in the description to where they're available if you just wanna do it with one click of a button. If you have questions on these, put the comments down below. I try to reply back to all of them. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take it easy.